Well, between the sun and clouds today on this Monday, we are still wondering, many are wondering if storms are headed our way. We are, and right now, Chief Meteorologist Jason Michael is joining us live from the grounds right here at the Putnam County Fair. What can we expect, Jason? Well, Jessica, the fun and festivities are kicking off here at the Putnam County Fair. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Michael. The good news is the rain showers are holding off, at least for now. Beautiful day here in Ottawa as the sun returns to the skies, along with some pleasant temperatures. It feels wonderful, and our very own Chief Meteorologist Jason Michael is standing by live right now here at the fairgrounds. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jessica. We are right in the thick of it here at the Putnam County Fair, standing right here on the Midway. Lots of sun, lots of people, and also lots of food. But what about the weather? Let's go ahead and take a look. Enjoying the sights, sounds, and flavors of the Putnam County Fair. He's taking one for the team and enjoying it for us and sharing for us his insight on the culinary treats of the fair. Our own Jesse Mag is standing by live right now. Hi, Jesse. Guys, here at the Ferris, we tend to get older. We tend to outgrow the rides and the games, but one thing you never outgrow is the food. Finished its work. Jason, a wet spring, lots of active weather. Is that how we're going to start our summer? Well, it's certainly going to appear that way over the next couple of days, but how much rain can we expect and are there storms embedded? We'll have the details after the break. Good evening. A Lima teen will be heading to the Allen County Common Police Court to face a charge related to the shooting death of another teen. 18-year-old Daquan Burst waived his right to a preliminary hearing in court. He is being charged with one count of reckless homicide for the death of 16-year-old. Talk more about our STEMI outlook coming up next. We'll talk more about lightning safety, how you can help you and yours, and of course, have a peek at the weekend. Sounds good. And in some Putnam County Fair news, some local cooks go for the top prize, making their version of a comfort food classic. It was the best of the beef tonight at the fairgrounds, and the food of choice was meatloaf. A big thank you to everyone who helped me out today with all the animals. And I don't know about you guys, but I think I did a pretty good job for my first time reporting live from the Putnam County Fair. Leslie Moreno, back to you guys. <laughs> She's a natural. Well, thank you, Leslie. And locals got a chance to buy some small farm animals today at the fair. During the 4-H event, members auctioned off some of their small animals they've been raising for the last couple of months. Officials in Logan County say a gas line ruptured and exploded sometime around midday. Police say there are no reports of any injuries. Coming up right now, a vacant home is destroyed by a two-alarm fire in the early morning hours. Now fire investigators are searching for a cause. And we planned on being at the Putnam County Fair, but Mother Nature had other ideas, so here we are in studio. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. An early morning two-alarm house fire call for the Lima Fire Department today. Fire was spotted coming from a vacant house at 620 East Albert Street just before 4.30 this morning. A lot less sunny and a lot more muggy out there today. Well, here's hoping to a dry end for our work week. Chief Meteorologist Jason Michael joining us now with our first check of the weather. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jessica. Well, good news to share this evening. The rain is fading out there. You can see on live selling with heavier. Used car prices dropping as the housing market is in full swing. And one company asks you to dress like a cow and you eat for free. Fox Business Network's Neil Cavuto explains. Troy's an empty home. Good evening and thanks for joining us. An early morning two alarm house fire for the Lima Fire Department. Fire was spotted coming from a vacant house at 620 East Albert Street just before 4.30 this morning. Officials say there was damage throughout the house. A Thunderbird F-16 flipped over today in Vandalia during rehearsals for this weekend's air show. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office in Dayton reports the jet ran off the end of a runway at Dayton International Airport. 